Hey everyone, David here from Another Eden Adventures. How are you doing? So, we are about to play 3000, the 3000 Realm Arc and the Sea Abyss. Latest chapter. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I spent last night cramming. Not for an exam, not to pay bills, not for work. I spent last night cramming chapter 2 and coincidentally it was called the 2000 Realm Arc and the Sea Abyss and man I did not like it I did not enjoy it I think that is why I took my time finishing that chapter I don't know maybe there's some people watching or listening right now that they do love it that did like it and it is their favorite series of series you know, I love the mythos, the latest mythos saga, and there are people online who didn't like it, so everyone has their own opinion, right? But I don't know. I just wasn't a big fan. It was just like, I was, I was playing it and I was thinking, this needs a dickhead, you know? Like, if you look at the, the mythos series, like the, the ancient series, they had dickheads in it, right? If you look at the latest one, uh, the latest future mythos series with with uh, the set in the future, it has a bunch of dickheads. You know, you have Alter Iska, you have Emo, Dewey, and you see just a lot of dickheads in it because you need to contrast the polite people with dickheads. It's just, it seems to be like a, a story, what do you call it, a plot a recipe for a good plot. You need the good, polite people, and then you need the dickheads in the story. And chapter two just didn't have any. It was just a. Do you, do you, is everyone? Have you ever met someone who's just really polite? And you can tell they're just holding back a bunch of aggression, but they're just really polite on the outside, and you just really have nothing to talk about. Well, chapter two to me was just being a, in a room full of very polite people, and everyone just being so happy. And I just wasn't a big fan of. The little pink thing. You may say David, but it's really cute. You know the pink, what's, his name is Pippi or something? Pip? And you can probably say, David, that's just racist. What do you have against pink creatures, you know? But I like Moki, or Moke, or however you pronounce him, the, the little white creature. That the, 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 and then you'll be saying, that's racist because you like white creatures. You don't like pink creatures. No, I'm not racist. It's just something about chapter two I was not a big fan of. Anyway, that is my rant. I'm wasting your time, so let's start. Move to location. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm not sure, I heard this is like a two hour, two, two to three hour gameplay, so I'm not sure if I'll be commentating and everything. Um, but we'll see. I might just get really tired and just pass out. If I do pass out, I hope you enjoy this chapter and I wish you success and happiness in life. Let's go. Start quest. Also, I'm like, I'm trying this podcast mic out and it's very uncomfortable. I don't know how, can, how, how do gamers do this? I'm just in a very awkward position right now, because, especially because this is a, a mobile game. Okay, before, sorry, you might be sick of me talking, but in chapter two, basically, the heroes saved the day, they saved the seas, but the twist in the end was this mermaid from Pizzica's town rocked up and she was just all faded and something urgent happened and then it was to be continued. So now we're continuing this, we're going to find out what's going on. I'll stop talking now.
I'll just fast forward and move to location. Ooh, fishies. Is that his name, Milchi? But he loved holding hands with uh, his crush. Tragic. Is this the first time Is this the first time a village in the game has been destroyed? still play music. Should I? Yeah, I, think I, was, I was thinking about this the other day. Because, you know, I'm a big player of Final Fantasy. And often, in, in a few of the Final Fantasy games I've played, towns get destroyed. The coal villages. And I was thinking, has it ever happened in another Eden? And I was also thinking, no, they they wouldn't let that happen because 
you know, it's a gotcha game and there's certain story mechanics that flow on and side quests and so forth, it will just be too messy. And, and uh, but here we go. This village is destroyed. Maybe at the end of the chapter it gets repaired again, who knows. Pew pew. Flapple. What's he saying? Whoa, Pip is a... What the hell? I thought they were calling Pip, Your Majesty. So Pip is royalty. If Pip transforms into some badass unit, then I will I'll change my mind about him. That's one, that's two big mamas. It's so annoying how they, they hiss. Pips a king. Rise, king, rise.
Ooh, am I gonna start locking Pip? Nope. <laughs> Although he's just stunned his face. Hilarious. Pizika ain't happy, man. Understandably so. So. You know you're in trouble if Pizika starts speaking in all caps. Nagi is a voice of reason. See volcano. Okie dokie, let's do it. Oh, I don't have that tool. So why do I have these particular members of my party? Well, I'll show you my... You see my group is called Leveling Up. So this party mostly comprises of characters I'm leveling up, with the exception of Kid, because I like to steal stuff with her, and Chiyo, simply because I want to increase the... Um, what do you call those? Um, Celestial Souls. So there's certain units if you have in your party during these chapters where it multiplies the celestial souls you receive in the game. So those characters, those units include Shella, Sheila, they include Chiyo. I'm not sure if this chapter is applicable, but I think they include Klate as well. And a few other units like Nagi and, and things like that who appear in this, in these chapters. If anyone here has seven, 
um, he was really hard to get. I was watching other people online just easily just beat those five bosses to to access seven. Me, it took me two weeks, and I'm still wondering if I should upload those videos simply because other people have done them already. So I'm not sure if I'm just wasting everyone's time, but yeah, he's a pretty good unit. See, his attack just restores people's MP. And heals them. Uh, not even worth mentioning. Fairy fish, that's fancy. Ugh, long journey. This is what I love and I hate, and hate about turn-based games. Yeah, yeah it is. Well, it's just these random encounters. It's good because you get a level up, you get to, um, you know, you get to be challenged a little bit, but also it's just, sometimes you just want to get to the destination, right? I hope I'm not alone. I'm not, I'm not, I hope I'm not alone in thinking this. Sheila. Especially some in some dungeons, you can tell they increase the uh, encounter rate of enemies. Tied not tunicates. Tunicate? See, I never really, because I, I kind of did a rush job on these chapters, I, I have a feeling I missed out on a lot of secrets. Maybe some people in the comment section can tell me what I've missed out on, but. See the, the bits of bits within these these areas where you need certain tools or skills to proceed, and I haven't unlocked any of them. Hey, it's Pip. Pip's being strange. Ugh. Giant, dodgy looking monsters. Very phallic. Pip's gonna do something nuts. I swear, they, they should, it would be awesome if, if they made Pip like this really powerful unit.
Ugh. doing now see this is another reason why I don't like Pip he has communication issues he just goes and does things and doesn't communicate with his friends and teammates you know that's that's why nations fail let's have they fall Eyes in pain, my bad. I mean, I'm gonna feel so bad if he dies. Or will I? Will I feel bad? Yeah, I'll feel bad. They want to consume the planet. That's it, man. Communication issues. P. Pikachu. And then he goes and blames other people. Oh, Pip was a bad guy. I, that's why I didn't like him. Better go to jail after this. See, this is why I didn't like him. I'll be like the guy in the horror show, the horror movie that just doesn't trust one character, and everyone's like, What are you talking about? He's a good person. And they'll be too late. Everyone gets murdered, and I'll be too scared to say I told you so. I could be even dead. I could even be dead. Ah, Pip, come on. Damn, it's deep.
If only it was like this in real life. Let's say I committed a horrible crime. And I just went and said, oh, something took over me and told me to do it. Will everyone be this forgiving to me? Man, Pip just got away with destroying an entire village. I'm sorry, Minchi, not Milchi. Minchi just has. He just looks sleepy all the time. His little crew cut. No. My mother. That's a creepy thing to chant. Migraines. Oh, that's creepy. That's what's, that's what's happening to her people. If you were older, would you have given no, the older wouldn't kill Pip? They had a huge, they had like the perfect chance, chance to slice Pip. Chance or chance? Oh, where are they? See, I have a feeling I completely missed out on whatever this is. Oops. Ish. Nimbly dodged. <laughs> Clock. 
Cool Daddy. So where this technique, the seven technique, what's it called? Monsoon is just it's really good. It's just a good, such a good skill for long journeys such as this because I always find out, I always end up running out of MP. But with this, you, it just seems like you just full health, full MP for long, for long hauls. So this is connected to Mythos somehow, isn't it? I'll reach in the middle of Atlantic, let's see. 